I've always had a secret love for Thomas and Friends since I was a kid, and I always wanted to create my own replicas of the props. Bachman was the closest thing we had at the time, but screw them, we can do better. Welcome to Project Northwestern, where we scratch build television model replicas and double O scale. From the smallest tram to the biggest steamies, we'll be building as many as we can. Without further ado, let's get into everyone's favorite number one. Here is how I built Thomas the Tank. Those familiar with my channel may remember a little while back when I made a sneak peek preview of my project using the Bachman models. So here's Thomas from that video. He does look better than the stock model, but now we can do even better. Here's my finalized Thomas model, a much more proportionally accurate and detailed clear waters Thomas. All thanks to the legendary Gage 1 modeler, Jamos Trainos, who makes amazing CAD designs for these engines. I highly recommend checking out his work. I modified his files to better fit the Bachman chassis and added in screw holes for easier disassembly. I originally tried printing him in PLA, which is good for gauge 1, but really sucks for double O. So I printed him in resin instead, which ended up looking a lot nicer and smoother. I began sanding down the print lines and prepared the model for painting with Tamiya Primer. I was then stuck on what blue I wanted to use for the body. To me, it's light blue or French blue. I was talking with my good buddy Tank Engine John John, who said to use both, and my mind was blown. I tried it, and it was absolutely perfect. Thanks again for your help, John. I then dropped, uh, I mean painted, the running board red and added the detailings. Definitely my first try. The model features 3D printed screw links by Ian that actually function and pull great. His front lamp is also posable with the file also made by John John. For the rest of the body, I hand painted the smoke box black and cab roof black and began adding his lining using custom cut vinyl. Now some may ask why I didn't use transfers and that's because my uncle created these designs. I would much rather support his private business rather than some randos on the internet. Plus vinyl is just easier for me to handle. I then added a cap cover with an interior made by at Scarloway Boy from his little Tomo files, and the chassis was reworked to use Donald and Douglas wheels with some more accurate side rods and extension blocks made by at the LBSC Thomas. Thanks again, Noah. The gearbox also had to be cut down for it to fit inside the new shell, and a brand new motor was installed. I gave the model a satin clear coat, added real colo, some brass whistles, and there we go. Thomas was complete. Oh wait. We still have a sound feature to talk about. Yep, thanks to ESU's lock sound micro decoders, Thomas is fully loaded with DCC sound, all of which being from the show itself. Why don't we get our DCC controller fire up and play the sounds? Here's a look.
Southwest train service to Woking via Weybridge. Calling at Vauxhall, Clapham Junction, Earlsfield, Wimbledon, Surbiton, Esher, Hersham, Walton on Thames, Weybridge, Byfleet and Newhall, West Byfleet and Woking. This train is formed of eight coaches. Platform two for the 1550 Southwest train service to Woking via Weybridge. Hello, I'm Thomas, and I'm the number one blue engine. Number one engine coming through! All aboard! This model runs extremely well for being custom built and sounds fantastic. Major thanks to BGM Reviews for his advice and everybody be sure to check out his pages for anything Tom's DCC. Everyone that I mentioned here uh, that helped me out with this model will be listed in the description, so please go check out their work. And so, that about wraps it up for Thomas. But who do you guys want to see next? Percy? Henry? Maybe even Toby? Be sure to let me know in the comments below and a big thank you to everyone mentioned in this video and to all of you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you next time.